We're here to provide details regarding operations across the county. This was a multi-jurisdictional task force operation comprised of local, state, and federal law enforcement agencies working alongside multiple non-governmental organizations and volunteers. Persons such as with the Deliver Fund, YMCA, and others were present with us during this task force. Some of our numerous partners that you may see behind me include the Montgomery County DA's office, Houston Police Department, Conroe Police Department, Montgomery County Constable's Office Precinct 3, Department of Public Safety, Homeland Security Investigations, the Attorney General's Office, TABC, the U.S. State Department, and non-government organizations. I would please ask that during the media discussions here that you wait till the end for any questions and we'll be glad to address them. This two week long operation, which operated from October the 15th through October the 30th, was created to proactively address sexual exploitation and human trafficking in and around the Montgomery County, Texas area. We also focused on possible victims and looked for underage persons who may have been involved as well. These concerns have been brought to light through law enforcement investigation and citizen complaints. These concerns have also been forced into our area because of the great work that other law enforcement entities are doing in and around the Houston, Harris County, and other counties. Undercover detectives and agents uh, posed as sex workers and Johns utilizing technology to look for individuals or groups who were seeking sexual activity in the form of performing sexual favors for money. As you are aware, many persons in this illicit industry are often forced into trafficking themselves and others through force, fraud, or coercion. Once involved, this behavior becomes a downward spiral and they often start doing other things that are illicit and illegal, such as narcotics, weapons, things such as that. They're often brought into this life at an early age and are seduced into this downward spiral that they may not ever recover from. This operation, over the course of two weeks, netted a total of 75 arrests. 32 male jobs, which you see that we have on our PowerPoint here, were arrested. 11 so-called pimps, nine of which pimps were male, two were female. A total of 28 prostitutes were arrested. One was armed with a pistol. Several of them had narcotics on them. Now those charges are pending as well. Two were arrested for aggravated promotion of prostitution. And we have other charges that may be pending once we complete our investigation. The best part about this operation, and I think we can all agree, is that the one thing we're after were to find the true victims that were involved in this unfortunate activity. We we're able to identify and rescue five confirmed victims of trafficking. One of them was a juvenile, and that's what we're most proud of. The reason we're not releasing at this point photos of the prostitutes were arrested because we believe that there may be other victims that may come forward. So we appreciate the cooperation of all of, all, all of our law enforcement partners, those standing behind me, those that were not able to attend. We look forward to other future operations and we will send a message and continue to send a message that this will not be tolerated within the Montgomery County, Texas and surrounding areas. With that, I will be introducing Sheriff Brad Henderson to come up and say a few words along with some other task force members. Thank you very much. Good morning, I'm Sheriff Rand Henderson. Um, what an honor to be here with such a great group of people. I am so proud of the work that was done. Uh, when we came into office in 2017, we had recognized some trends that were coming up. And one of these trends that we wanted to address was human trafficking. And we also wanted to work as close as we could with all partners in the region. So, of course, the force multiplier opportunity to work with other agencies is always welcome. And this was a great opportunity. There were a couple of different groups that we joined, one of which was the Human Trafficking Rescue Alliance Task Force, which is overseen by the Houston Police Department. We joined that group in 2017. And we've also been a partner uh, with the Montgomery County DA's office and the other groups that are involved with the Montgomery County Coalition Against Human Trafficking. So through those partnerships and through working with non-governmental organizations as well as law enforcement and advocacy groups, we've done some really great things and one of those was putting together this sting operation. So 
what we looked at the culture change that's happening when it comes to uh, what's traditionally known as prostitution. The, the views that you go in and do sting operations and arrest prostitutes is completely changed. The training, uh, the information gotten from advocates looks to prostitutes as most of them being in this situation because of some kind of human trafficking or coerced activity. So through that, we've changed the way that we approach this. So we we're very proud uh, of the John sting that we did. So putting so many of those that came to buy the sex in jail. And of course, being able to do the interviews with the prostitutes after, after uh, taking them into custody and trying to determine you know, how they got there. You know, who were their pimps? Who were the ones that were forcing them, in a lot of cases, into this activity? So, although we netted 75 arrests, I think identifying the true victims of human trafficking is what made this entire incident worthwhile. So we're really proud of what the work has been done uh, through our units, through our task force teams. They're the ones that deserve all the credit, and we're really proud of all the hard work that they've done. But I also want to send a message that we're not going to put up with this kind of activity, not just in Montgomery County, but in our entire region. That this type of prostitution, the pimping, is absolutely uh, going to be addressed, and we're going to address it undercover so we know it's coming. So we want to try to thwart as much as this as possible, and this won't be the last one. We're going to put more of these together and until the numbers aren't there. So with that, I would like to introduce one of our partners, uh, the Houston Police Department, and they have a few words to say as well. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Angela Merritt, and I am the Lieutenant over the Human Trafficking Unit for the Houston Police Department. And I want to say thank you. Thank you to all of our partners that have worked hard in this effort to bring justice for, for several victims that were notified or were, excuse me, several victims that were believed to be trafficked during this operation. It's been a pleasure as well as a, a service for us to come together in order to defeat this problem. This one thing I want to say is that this not only shows that this human trafficking is prolific not only in the inner city but also in various other counties and areas. So this, I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you for our services and that we were able to participate in such a tremendous effort. Good morning, my name is Tyler Dunman. I'm the Special Crime Bureau Chief at the Montgomery County DA's Office. Uh, on behalf of the elected district attorney, Brett Ligon, uh, we too are very thankful for the hard work that this team has put forth over the last couple of weeks. Uh, human trafficking is an issue here in Montgomery County. Uh, and but for the leadership of Sheriff Rand Henderson and others stepping up to fill the void, to put together a plan to attack uh, and eliminate human trafficking in Montgomery County, we wouldn't have the efforts that we're having and have had these last two weeks. And I stand with the sheriff, and I know Brett Ligon does as well, that when you're arrested in an operation like this, I've you will face a there. stiff penalty uh, here in Montgomery County uh, on behalf of the DA's office. Uh, we know that many were arrested coming to Montgomery County to, to purchase sex, and that type of activity simply will not be tolerated here in this county by law enforcement and by the DA's office. So we're looking forward to presenting those cases to a Montgomery County jury uh, and allowing the punishment to take place at that time. But again, thank you very much uh, for our partners, our non-governmental groups that have been mentioned. We could not do the work without them. Uh, we couldn't do the work without the citizens coming forward and giving tips and calling law enforcement when they know of something going on unusual in their neighborhood or at a place of business where they've been into. Whatever it might be, those tips are critical for us to allow us to go forth and this work. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you to these partners here for the effort they put in. Two grueling work, uh, two weeks of hard work, uh, and it paid off. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Special Agent Williams with the FBI Houston. I am the Child Exploitation Task Force Coordinator, and I just want to give a great big thanks to Montgomery County to invite us out to Operation Cross County. It was a great success. Um, shows how us in law enforcement, we all can work together and make a huge collaborative effort to make an impact the way we did uh, over the past two weeks. Um, to the public, like the DA just said, uh, 
your tips, your information is something that helps us out greatly. We can't do it without you. We need more public participation and also your information to help us fight human trafficking, not only in Montgomery County, but throughout the state, throughout the country. Time. We're going to take questions from the media, please. If, if there's a lot of, uh, of agencies and officials up here, so if there's somebody your question is directed to, please just address it to that agency or whatever else. But at that time, any questions? Any what more? part of the county are you getting? Any more particular or all over? Yes, sir. What, uh, what we do is we cast a large net. Uh, we don't know exactly where they're going to be coming from, but we housed our operations in an area that we thought would be uh, good them to know that we mean you know it's a serious type of an environment uh, so we operate in places that have a high density of population generally uh, not necessarily the rural part of the county so uh, most of our operation was conducted in, in and around the woods area are these at businesses or like businesses you know like these are yeah this operation didn't focus on the businesses that's something that we also do we focus on the soft collar operations and other illicit type of Environments. Uh, this about four that were arrested for miscellaneous charges such as narcotics and unlawful carrying of a weapon. Uh, and I think that other charges may be pending. These these cases just don't stop at the point of arrest. Uh, we continue to ask questions, look into the technological side of it. We look into their cell phones, where can we get search warrants for them, uh, and see where they may be leading down to another path. Any other questions? Any of the agencies up here? We're glad to have any other agencies that wish to stay with us. Okay. Right, I have a question for, uh, for the FBI. Why is there? Uh, how is the uh, FBI involved in this? And is it because of the minors? Yeah, so the FBI, uh, as I mentioned, I work child exploitation. So in the event that we were to recover a minor, FBI can offer assistance and move forward with a federal investigation and try to seek an indictment in prison time for the trafficker of children. Are you guys looking for more arrests because of, because of that same situation? Like whoever brought that minor in? Yeah, so if, if we have a minor in custody because we rescued her, we're going to not stop there. We're going to follow up and we will look for who, who's responsible for the child being your name and your title, please. Uh, Special Agent Williams, FBI Houston, Child Exploitation Task Force. First name? Theo Williams. Any other questions? All right, well, thank you all for coming. We appreciate it.